I'm so excited. I found recently around the house a watch that I thought I had thrown out. I busted the crown on this thing, and this is before I knew how to work on watches, so I just figured I chucked it, but uh, I'm so glad I didn't. So I'm going to tell you the story behind this. Uh, if you don't like that kind of thing, just fast forward to the part where I'm working on the watch. But uh, I had a, uh, a watch that basically uh, there was a daily watch that I wore. You see the crown's busted on this one. That's the, uh, that's the problem with it. Uh, but this daily watch that I wore needed to go in for repair, and so I bought this watch to uh, get me by until it came back from the shop. And this became my daily watch for about a year or so. Uh, so I've kind of fallen in love with it. You can see it's got a great dial. It's a little yellow color. You got that, uh, that arrow pointer second hand. Uh, just a great little watch. Uh, so now that I've found it, I thought, I'm going to get this thing working again. Well... I couldn't find the uh, crown and stem uh, to uh, replace it, and I just was having a hard time. You know, I want to make sure I got the right one because of that Indiglo feature when you push in the crown for the Indiglo light. Well, I started thinking, why don't I just buy a broken watch on eBay? So that's what I did. Here it is. For $6, I got this. It's missing the case back. But I thought, man, I'll get a strap out of this. And, you know, obviously, um, the crown, I mean, that's what I need. I'm going to grab that thing. And uh, it's gunmetal gray instead of black, like my case. But uh, I thought that might actually look pretty good, you know. Like I said, I just couldn't, I didn't have the time to sit around the patients to wait for uh, uh, the exact watch, you know, the black one, you know. But um, I just thought this gunmetal gray will work. But then I started looking and I thought, man, I really like that orange second hand. And it's still got the, uh, the arrowhead pointer on it. And I thought, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal that uh, second hand and grab the crown and transform my watch. So we'll get into it now. Um, so first I wanted to uh, check the donor watch since it didn't have that case back and battery. I put one in there just to make sure it was working and that uh, the crown functions. And it does. So move on to the next step. Now, I don't have a uh, setup to where I can uh, zoom in on the watch and not have my head in the shot. So I'm just kind of going to move through some of these things. This is me taking the crown out of the, uh, the donor watch and then grabbing the uh, plunger here to uh, take off the uh, second hand. And um, set that aside. Then pulling out the broken stem from my watch. And this thing was jacked. Like I said, I, I, I am kind of clumsy on watches. Uh, I don't even know what happened. I remember looking down and the crown was gone. So I probably bumped it up against something. You can see it just ripped off. So now uh, I'll take the uh, crown and put it in my watch. And then take my second hands off. Set those aside. And we'll grab the uh, donor second hand that bright orange one that i love so much which i think matches this uh, dial even better than the black one the black one was fine but once i saw this orange one i thought man so you just have to plunge that down there uh now i'm just going to uh kind of check the alignment make sure that uh, you know there's clearance you can see everything's flowing smoothly just circle all the way around and hit the spots where uh, all the hands align and everything's good, so successful so far. And uh, I did mar up the dial a little bit, so I've got a bit of Rodico and uh, just kind of cleaned it up, um, any kind of specs and stuff. But uh, I think I might, I might have marred the dial just a touch. But again, that's the perfect kind of watch to practice on here. It's like a $50 watch, right? So you can't really do much harm. All right, so now we've got the, uh, the dial putting it back into the case. And then we've got to put the uh, crown and stem back in. And once we do that, pop in that new battery. And then take a look. Look at that. First peak. That's nice, huh? That orange works perfectly. I almost wonder why they didn't do that. 
uh, you know, why they put the black one on there. I guess they're probably trying to make different uh, colorways, but uh, you can see the Indiglo works great. So there it is. And you got that uh, gunmetal gray crown. I actually kind of prefer that look too. Like I'm so it's like a happy accident. I'm glad that worked out, you know. So I've got a, a nice little look now instead of the uh, the black crown and the black second hands. And look at that. It's hitting every marker. Isn't that great? Oh, that's nice. I was really careful to place that hand, uh, the second hand, uh, perfect too. So let's try it on. This is my Vostok Amphibian. Uh, check out that video. I'll make a link up above. Uh, it's getting a lot of views right now. People are digging the Vostok. So... Um, I'll put the uh, spotlight video up there for you to check out. So here's my restored watch, Timex Expedition Scout with the yellow dial and now the orange second hand. You got that nice brown leather strap. It's all broken in because it's had plenty of use. So for $6, I got a new crown, new seconds hand, and another strap. I call that a bargain. So I hope you like this video. Hopefully it's inspired you to do the same. Grab an old watch and fix it up and uh, bring some new life to it. Start enjoying it again. And if you like this video, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and keep following uh, my channel. So until next time, I'll see you soon.